Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and we are in the third video of the top selling product analysis. Um, until now, what we have done is in the first two videos, we have uh, found out the total sales, um, the best selling product sales, the best selling product name. We have found out the top three product sales and the names of the top three products. But as of now, uh, what we need to find is that uh, uh, the name along with the sales and probably also order this in uh, in the order of the best selling product. So let's just kind of make another make another pivot table uh, and uh, just copy it to the right right here. Now let's just let's just modify this measure. Uh, let me just open the pivot table. Let's just modify this measure. So I just don't need the sales. I just not don't need this and uh, i'm just going to copy this measure once again so let's just copy the the code the dax formula right here control c and i'm going to make another measure and call it the same thing like the nearly the same formula and i'm going to call it top three selling products revised now in this uh, apart from the name of the best selling product i also need to find the total sales of that and how we're going to do that i am just going to concatenate this uh, with something called as total sales. So uh, let me explain the logic to you first. So here is what I'm trying to do. So I'm saying go in every single row of the top end table. The top end table is obviously giving you three rows of the first, second and the third best selling product, right? And I'm saying in that row, in that table where you have just three rows, find me the name of the product. Now, apart from that, I am going to concatenate here and say that apart from the name of the product, also in every single row calculate its own total sales right and uh, if i just say okay as of now what this is going to do is uh, let me just put this out and put this in if i just do that right now you can see that i have the uh, product name and i have its sales and i have the second product uh, and uh, the second product sales and I have the third product and the third product sales but let's just format this a little better so I'm just gonna come here and I'm just gonna say that hey um, I need to take my total sales and uh, arrange it in a dollar format so dollar zero is going to be the format so I just wrap around my total sales in the in this format and I also say that hey I also need to have like a dash uh, here and uh, close that with the dash so all that I'm saying is that apart from finding the name of the product then apply a dash then calculate the total sales and uh, make that in a uh, no decimal dollar format and uh, this is going to give you total sales so your total sales is going to look something like this so you have a dollar and you have a dash here and the comma and then the next product but if the comma is not very sufficient here maybe you can apply a pipe symbol here to make it more 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 explicit so i'm just going to make a pipe symbol here so uh, two spaces and then two spaces and this is good enough right so something like this now this gives me an absolute clarity uh, as to what is that now somebody can turn around and say that hey uh, can we maybe have now as of now we have three products so one product the second product and the third product so there are two more further questions that somebody can ask you can we have this arranged in the order of the best selling product first the second best selling in the second and the third best selling so we need to arrange this in the descending order so i'm just going to come here and just take a look as of now we are writing concatenate x in concatenate x we are writing three things we are writing the table we are writing what uh, measure or what operation or what expression do we want to do in every single row and what should be the delimiter these three things we are writing and as soon as i put a comma it asks you order by expression so order this by the total sales so i'm just going to close that and this is going to be the descending order so sc desc that's what you write desc descending order so i'm saying that uh, arrange this in the order of total sales and once you arrange this in the order of total sales arrange this in which order descending order let's just take a look it's all good and the first one is 270 the second one is 189 the third one is 174 360 174 135 and 135 take a look in the month of feb you have four products because there were 235 dollar products which were clashing so it gave you a list of four products now somebody can turn around and have another request hey can you maybe 
arrange this in separate rows that means the first row for first product the second row for second product the third row for third product that is something that you would not be able to do with power pivot in excel that is something that you'll be able to do with power bi uh, using the tax formula language of power bi because there is one formula which is not available in excel based power pivot which is called the unichar formula as of now take a look we are delimiting our each row by a pipe symbol and two spaces around that but what you can do is you can modify this and write something called as unit chars unit char and write 10 here this is the only change that you have to make now, now this is not going to accept it because as of now this is an invalid function but this is absolutely a valid function in um, in a power pivot sorry in power bi what this is going to do is this is going to take this product break it here 10 means enter and uh, write the name of the second product in the second row then write the name of the third product in the third row so on and so forth this is how it's going to appear in power bi so this is the only modification that you have to make in power bi rest everything is the same so i'm just going to escape that because that's not going to be acceptable in power pivot so let's just stay put with this all right um now the last part of this is going to be somebody can further ask you a question that what if I want to find the top two or top four or top five products as of now top three is static right but your top n could be dynamic as well so we can actually make the top n dynamic so somebody clicks on a button maybe a slicer and then you just have two products somebody clicks on the slicer again maybe you just have one product and so on and so forth let's see how can we do that in the next video stay tuned for the last one and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.